Margaret Bermudez and welcome to the very first episode of On The Mic, where we get real with creative individuals that have something to say. And I have one word that everybody's been hearing and saying for the past six months even. COVID-19 has blown my mind in so many proportions because like, it has not only affected us in the Philippines, but worldwide. One pandemic has like shifted the entire world. And that has also done two things. The way I see it is it, it was able to put people together and also break people apart. I personally have gone through ups and downs. There are days that I'm good, there are days that I'm not. And that's completely fine. But I used that as my fuel to move forward because like, I didn't want to give in to the fact that this pandemic is going to stop me from doing what I think that I can do or share to the world, which which we've all been doing for years and years. We've all been an inspiration to people to make people happy night by night. And, um, you know, I only aim to have this show on air to inspire people, and that's all. I have only thought of inviting these brothers that are very, very close to me. And, you know, we've, we've done so many things together, and they've, they've also been such an inspiration to me and my craft. And of course, without further ado, representing Very Done Crew, we have my brothers Jazamora and DJ Yuri. You know, I actually want, you know, that every time we see each other, it's never just a hi or a of hello. It's always a big hug. Like, we don't even say hi, it's just a hug, instant hug, and we already know that. That's the way we do it, and that's how we're so used to, and we can't do that. But I'm so happy to have you guys here. I haven't seen you guys in a while. In a while. And, um, you know, very the Very Done crew has been such a huge inspiration to me. Not only because, like, they're my brothers, and these are, these are guys that I take so much advice from, and I have learned so much from, but these are also guys that have successfully put up a collective in such a short span of time, like a year. They've been able to come up with a collective that has made waves in just one year and that has always been such an amazing thing for me so these are the representatives of the very no, it's just us. crew it's actually the lower it's just us strap na yung tatlo strap na yung apat what for <laughs> no but kidding aside we do have them on uh, on a video call with us we have rami bitong Nick Dampy and Tolo Marvelous on Zoom because they yeah. can't join us. So okay, like, you know that we've all been in this situation and we've all been on lockdown, literally lockdown. From like nightlife, years and years, day after day, we've been seeing each other being out there and then all of a sudden that gets taken away from us, mm -hmm. out of nowhere. I don't even remember the last time that I was out. So, um... But with, with the situation going on right now, and we've all done our own processes, like what have you guys been doing? Like, have you learned a new skill? Have you, like how do you keep yourself sane? Like me personally, like I've never baked ever in my life, okay? But because like, you're bored. <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> I know how to bake now. I so. know, I know. But, but, but that's, that's because of like um, need, yeah. I guess. Uh, because I'm, I'm on the keto diet, Correct. so okay. when you're home, all you want to do is snack yeah. or whatever. And yeah. I don't want to I don't wanna gain weight Correct. while I'm doing nothing. Okay, mm -hmm. I get so it. So I was like, okay, I need snacks. So and I, also, like at the same time, pleasing yourself, like satisfying yourself with like cravings yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and everything. So, but and then, and then the it's, just, evil. it's just so much free time. Yeah, yeah. It's your, your mind looks for something to do, exactly, basically. Exactly. So, like, one day I'll wake up and I'm like, huh. It's just the most random Great. shit, really. I wake up and I'm like, oh, I wonder how hard it is to make callos. Okay. That random. It's dude. like challenging yourself. You you've been cooking and baking. It's yep. not only I, I saw your adobo. Oh, adobo dude. Time. That was fire. I'm wondering why we don't have any the right adobo now. Adobo is fire. Like <laughs> <laughs> you, Jazz. Like, what have you been doing? Like, I know that you've been doing a lot of these online gigs. Yeah. With some um, events. Mostly like uh, some some groups have come up to us and yeah. asked us to do some for charity right. to help uh, fund yeah. fundraising events for frontliners. Frontliners, yeah. So it's it's been fun. It's been an adjustment to yeah. not have 
uh, people around you. It's when true. You're, <laughs> it's challenging. The energy is really different. Honestly, it's, also it's, it's, it's the worst. It's complete. Let's just let's just be real. It's the it's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's 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 also like um, you're not used to being alone in one room mm -hmm. doing what you've been mm -hmm. doing years and years, and then all of a sudden it's just you with no one bugging you and no, nobody spilling the drinks on your or equipment pulling your, or pulling your stuff. You get you get annoyed when that when things like that happen, I get but that. then now you're kind of like someone pulled my laptop. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so at least now, if somebody pulls it, that's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> you, yes, I you guess. Did that. No, I guess. You can't blame it on anybody if your laptop is <laughs> no or blame. you. Um. Yeah. So we all. So we have Nick's. Tolo and Rami on video call. Who's that? Um, actually, I don't know. Because the one there is a lot of facial hair. Masyado. <laughs> so we have Nix. Like, Nix, like, how have you been keeping up with this situation? Like, I know that you've been doing a lot of these producing and really immersing in that craft. Like, how have you... What else have you been doing to keep yourself sane? I'm just doing me! Yeah, always! <laughs> Do it big, always! <laughs> like, tell us more about like what you've been doing. Now, like a lot of music. Uh, I think this is the break that, that we've been waiting for. Um, yeah. But we didn't ask like, na ganito ka, ka wild. Nobody asked. <laughs> we were, we were yeah, just yeah, asking yeah. for like a couple of weeks. Just like... Um, it's like... Yeah, medyo parang time out lang pero ito parang ano eh, parang summer break na ewan eh. So it's yes. just, Yeah, it's so it's summer. just you know, keeping 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 the mind just busy and um yeah. learning 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 a lot of like new things. Um it's it's really it's fun na uh, ko, um I don't know if like my, my co-DJs or my co-artists or creative like creatives like um agree um with me but parang it's it's really like just you alone, you know, mastering your craft and still learning it. It's, it's fun, but it's weird, but it's fun. It's also challenging, uh, like, being yeah, the critic of yourself sure. every day. Wala yeah. magtuturo sa'yo si YouTube lang, tsaka si Google eh. So, it's, 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 really, yeah, it's, it's, it's really challenging, but, but, but fun at the same time. That's great, that's great. Like, you know, I think that all of us have that we're all going through our, our own processes, like how to deal with this. Some yeah. have done something, some are still figuring out how to get themselves out of that shell, that fear. And you know, it's nice to see that a lot of people are really exerting the effort to learn new things and uh, learn more yeah, about themselves. Super, super. Like get in, your, get in touch with your inner self. So yeah, that's great. Like I can't wait to hear more about that soon. Um, Rami, like I do know that you are now the creative director of to the program director of 99.5. Like, how is that? That's, and that's cool, you know, like. Don't Rami, Rami give, me a, give me a show. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> give me some airtime. <laughs> we get a fan. Pag may budget, pag may budget na. <laughs> yeah, no, fan is fan. So, yeah, Rami, like, Rami and I were talking earlier. I was asking him, like, how, did, how are you able to. Put the show together on air, like because I was in the car the other day and I was listening to the radio and I was like, how are they able to do like how how are they able to sound like they're still in the same booth, but they're not like and that's so challenging like that kind of really brings out like your knowledge in technology. So like, Rami, like what else have you how how have you been keeping yourself sane with this apart from work? Okay, apart from work, I would say like what takes up most of my time now and it's funny because i was never ever ever my whole life i was never the gamer pare. i said zero oh, i was never now. i <laughs> never play games as in before before it's like work 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 and then now as soon as i wake up games? as soon as i wake up cod pare. Cod, 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 cod. battle royale game and then now I know how to play mahjong. I know how to play backgammon. Nice, you're a full gamer now. <laughs> old school yeah, gamer, old school gamer. Tita gamer, tita gamer. Two K. Tita gamer. But yo, no, that's it, diba? You can play. You can play with your siblings. You can play with the titas, oh, diba? Yeah, that takes up most of my time. So you said that you've been gaming and playing all these online games from COD to. Yeah. All these uh, the new digital games. <laughs> Super related. Yeah, and now you're Con. playing Majong. Majong. Because 
I, I do know that you have like a quite a following for the titas, you know? So how is that working out? Like target, are you target like, market? <laughs> it's your target market. So yeah, so going back to that, like what else have you been doing apart for that? Okay, so when it comes to learning now, more than ever, we have to uh, adapt to whatever's happening online eh? because everything yes. is online now. So before, okay, you're DJing, uh, you're mixing, you're mixing really well. Okay, that's good for the club, for the events. But now, yeah. parang the whole game is uh, moving online. Twitch, Facebook Live, and it's not enough yeah. that you're just, you know, DJing. That's it. Kailangan may may graphics ka na maganda. Kailangan yung audio mo uh, it comes out really nice. Like you always have to be extra with your online yeah, yeah. gigs. And yeah. you're not this time. It's not your focus is not just on the music. Eh. Parang uh, a big factor that I realized was that you have to engage with your listeners, uh, the audience, right. whoever's watching. And now, since you're on their screens. 100%, no, maybe not 100%, but most of the time, they're looking at you. Because when you're, when you're in an event or in a club, okay, they're not always looking at you. Yeah, they're distracted with other things. Yeah. 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 Except if you're, if you're tolo, they're always looking at you. Because you're always looking at tolo, right? You're always looking at tolo. Also, how to stream properly, um, uh, how to get people to watch your... Uh, online shows ganyan. so a lot of the learning it, it's still DJing but like a whole new a whole new chapter a whole new part they're, they're of it like, they're more like factors to what you're doing yeah. and also like I think it's it also challenges your um, your skill in, in learning new things like especially with technology like we have so many things we have zoom the stream lab like you need to now you need to know how to do it there's also OBS like I, I did a couple of um, I did a couple of live DJ sets with Miss G, and Jazz had to walk me through the whole thing. It was actually very challenging, but it was such a nice thing to learn because it's just something yeah. that gets you out of your comfort zone. You know, have you guys also kind of like been finding a way to get yourself healthy? Because you know, like when you're healthy physically, nope. you're healthy mentally. You know, so yeah. Yurik has been doing keto. He's been preparing his food I actually, healthier. Actually, lost um twenty pounds. That's nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I, I, I swear, yeah. dude, I, from two twenty six, I'm now two oh six. Oh, all right. Woo. Okay, so going back to very done, the very done crew. Like I know that, uh, like I said earlier, that you guys have been running the show for a year and a couple of months now. So. Going back to the very start of that, who thought of Very Done? And what does Very Done mean? Like, who Dude, thought honestly, of this? until now, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. Um, basically, okay, the, the person who started Fast. it all was okay. that one, the guy okay. who wears the beard. The beard. The, the beard. guy that wears the beard. The, the guy who wears the shades at night. Next okay. MP. No, it's okay, for me at least. Of course, like coming up in the game, you have your own gigs, whatever. Yeah. And then it was all like DJ, DJ, DJ. No, right. There's no, there's no like crew. Yes. And then Nix, Nix and I sort of, kind of aligned. There, there's or kind like, of like a silent competition. Okay. Because <laughs> like, no, no, for real, for real. Like, oh, Nix would always. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't silent. It was a healthy competition. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. It was out there. It, 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 was, it was there. Out there. Pe pe people knew. So like, so I remember um, every time I go to Nix's stuff, or every time every time I listen to Nix, yeah. I'm like, fuck. I, go, I need to. I need, I need I, to. I, I, I want to go home right now. And yeah. like, I want to go home right now and fix my playlists and stuff. That. I'm yeah. like, he always inspired me basically, and and that's why we became friends. Yeah. And then Nix and I started working together. But ever since I was always like. Kind of like low key. No, ever since yeah. I've, I've I've always been like, it's me yeah. against everyone. <laughs> I know, and, and everyone like, knows that. It's like no. Okay, so one thing, one thing, either a lot of people know or don't know is like Yurik is actually one of the most confident people I know. It's like that's what you, you know, call it. Yeah. No, the, the most, most, the most, most, the most. So it's in really, the world. So, in the world. So it's either you 
take it as a good thing or you take it as a bad thing. And you know, if you're if you're playing the same game, you get that, right? For the longest time, it was always like it's me against everyone. Okay. In my mind, at like, least. I don't in my mind, anybody. it's it's not yeah. like I hate you, I hate yeah. you. But in my mind, it's like me against everyone. And then when I started working with Nix, I'm like, okay, you start becoming friends and everything. And then Nix was the one who's literally like, just one random day, dude, sends me a sends me a message saying, dude, let, uh, are you free for a meeting in Manila Pen? I'm like, fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> Manila is this? Pen? Yes. I, I, I thought I thought it was I thought it was for a gig or something. Yeah. Like he was gonna, he already had mother base and everything, and so, like I thought it was gonna be like our like mother base like friends yeah, or something like right, that. Right, right. I was like, all right, cool. Since 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 he's my friend, so I was like, second, uh, I'll waste my time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll waste my time. <laughs> hey, that's what he said. I'll waste my time for you. Make it worth it. <laughs> all right, all right I'll, I'll show up. I'll show up, and then I I walk in, and then I see jazz and I see Tolo. So it was a setup. <laughs> well, it was, a, it was, a it was an ambush. It was an ambush. Yeah, basically, I, I didn't know what was going on, but I see, I see, I, I, I know Jazz. Jazz, Jazz, Jazz was a friend since um, uh, Fiamma days. Fiamma. But we we're ne we've never really been like we've never worked together. Hung out. We've never kind of, like yeah. hung out and everything. And then I see Tolo. Tolo, I think was just starting to like DJ, um, DJ seriously then. Yeah. And I was like, the dancer though. I was like, I was like okay. What's this guy doing here? I was like, okay. <laughs> And then, and then I see Rami, then Rami also, I know, um, Fiamma crew then, yeah, so I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then I see Sky. I was so like, you oh. were the last guy that entered the room. Yeah, of course. Room. I have so, to be, I have so to be, that answers answer one of your that, questions. That answers one of the questions no, I have. Marga, <laughs> Marga who, was, who was the last guy to show up here? Exactly. <laughs> Always. Fashionably late. And then sit down, Nick starts to explain. So you said that Nick was the really one bad. that Nix was the one that initiated Basically, this whole yeah. thing. Yeah, he, he masterminded. Was, he was this the thing. one that kind of like dove in and just like thought, "I mm -hmm. want to start a crew." He he kept mentioning it way Previously, before that, that I wanted he to do wanted something to, like this. We wanted yeah. to bring people together. He yeah. wanted to, and then finally when it happened, I remember one conversation we yeah. had, and we just looked at each other and. Like, Let's do it. Finally, Let's do happened. It. Yeah. We've been talking about it for a while. Then. So, okay. so Nick's like they said that you were the one that initiated this, uh, the very done crew. Like, what went on your mind? Like, Jazz said that you've been planning it since 2018. So, like, what is yeah. what is the goal? What was the goal behind it? And why, like, why pick these guys to be part of your crew? Actually, um, the the second question, I don't know if I answered it because I don't know why they chose them. But the first question I can answer... Who knows? 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 I just saw it. I just saw it. So, um, like, um, to be real and to be honest, like, um, we need to be in the industry in DJing. Okay? It's, it's different. There's a culture, yes. But we need to create an industry where everyone thrives, not just DJs, bar owners, producers, suppliers, anything and everything doing the event bubble. Na yon. We just want to create something that we really love, which is music. So us being DJs and friends, most especially, um, that really fueled me. I'm like, I should talk to like all my DJ friends na, na down and who are like open minded, like just to create. Yeah. Networking, buddy. <laughs> so yun, so para, <laughs> diba, that was that was my first question. Diba, okay, open minded bio. Yun agad yung binanat ko sa ano, kaya tumawa lahat eh. So I'm like, nah. I'm like, kasi para uso yung ano nun eh. Yung, um, networking. Oh, networking. So it was, it was a joke. Like, it was a joke. Then I'm actually brainstorming. You know? I, I, I wanna, I wanna pick their brains. You know, I, I wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna see like where, where their um, head spaces regarding with their careers, regarding with DJ, regarding with creative stuff, and just creating. You know, and um, I, I, I felt safe. That's why those guys are like really handpicked. Hihi, <laughs> wag ulo. So. So they're really handpicked because they have their own taste, I can say, and like really style and they're not they're not just DJs. Okay, DJs 
they DJs just play music, sinasabi nila. But 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 for us, or for for me, it's it's not just it's not just that. So it's 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 something you feel, and I feel safe with them. I feel really like you know um, challenged also. Um, so parang ako, okay, I'm I'm gonna pick their brain in the first meeting namin, and you know let let's see where 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 this goes. Um, but but technically, I I, I wanna form. Um, a really really strong bond with my DJ friends because maybe I felt like I was just you know playing basketball alone <laughs> and it really sucks when you play alone you wanted to pass it on yeah oh, okay. walang, walang tiga rebound ng bola. but but now I have I have like you know playmates where you know I can like toss ideas and they can like toss ideas too or like you know go back and forth banters you know like nice. de pangit yung mix mo alam mo like just just to 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 keep the to keep the creativity moving i guess and and um yeah. just you know take it take it one level every time one level like it's just like a safe place where i can say those are my brothers and i can be myself that you trust without yeah. yeah the trust without you know any pretensions or whatever but with exception with you rick sige <laughs> Quite enough. Quite enough. I'll allow him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so it started with that. It started with like just you know um, collecting all my um, or just talking to my DJ friends na who I trust and who I, I feel safe with and I know they're you know parehas kami na mga na mga iniisip in, in, in some ways and um, thank God na it worked and lots of yeah. you know really really hardworking guys. DJing, obviously, like many things, started as a trend. The way that it's been, in in reality, a lot of these DJs are a lot would feed a lot on their ego. I want to be the best DJ. I want to be the only DJ that does this and does that. And like, which is why exactly why I said earlier that that's what impresses me with the very done crew because they allow themselves to be part of something. They allow themselves to uh, get criticized by other DJs and actually use that. As like a fuel to get better in their in their craft, so I think like that's one of the things that I see very done doing. That's you what know? that's what medium was about. Our Wednesday yeah. night in no no It's like I can liken it to a gym. That's our gym. That's yeah. our that's our training our facility. Workout. Yeah, your playground. Basically, ground. so like so like we go there and then we do our rotations. Like I I I used to do the rotations and then I let Sky do it because yeah. I was too lazy. I usually match DJs. Yeah. To each other and stuff, and then uh, and then after a while, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go spin with Ganyan. Right, because like because right. like I, I, I want Fading to the flow. yeah yeah, but like in 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 medium, it's like I like getting challenged by putting by, yourself in different emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. And and then after a while, when we're like having fun with it already, it's like oh, this is super fun, and and you can never like let your guard down because like you know there's like. Five other DJs there. Gonna kill it. Even, yeah. even if they're like, go, even if they're like around flirting with other girls, the moment you fuck up, you see, you, you, you see five, you see five heads like, turn. Whatever. Do that. So, so you, 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 you gotta be on your toes. You, you yeah. can, you can mess up, right? right? So medium is a, medium is show and tell. Okay. Yes, medium basically. Is, medium is show. Yeah, yeah. yeah, medium is show and tell. Like, dude, step it up every week. Step it up and. Yeah. Just to remind you guys, we don't have a lineup every night. So, well, it's literally yeah, it's, like, it's, it's not an ego thing. It's not. It's not like you know, um, a, a clout thing. It's, it's, not, it's not that. It's just just go there. Who's gonna DJ? I don't know too. Like you know, it's it's just fun to 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 be in a then, place where where you don't expect. Right, because like in in most events, actually in any event. Before, like me, I, I would be guilty of that. Like if I'm not working, I look at the poster. Who's spinning? You're okay. I'm going. Nick's spinning. I'm going. But like, if it doesn't, it's not the kind of DJ that I would like to hear. I won't go. And that all is based on a poster. And I noticed that how you guys with your with the material that you've used in medium, like literally nobody knows who's playing. So that's there's no, the kind there's of no, there's no logos. Like parang wala pa yata tayong medium. Na, na, yung night namin in Nokal, like uh, I don't think we, yeah, we had like right. posters, yeah. It's just like and, and yeah. friends too, like friends, you know, may mga naka jam na mga friends. It's it's really fun. So it's 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 about the community and the music lang talaga for for medium. That's our outlet. That's why it's called medium. 
that's why we never put the lineup. Yeah. Like like you said, parang just based on the poster. Yeah. Oh, I'm going there because blah blah blah. Right. We we want it to be like you you go there. You don't know what the music is, but we like we like the feeling where okay, no one no one knows who's DJing. No no one knows what the music is gonna be tonight. Like there there are some nights when we would play like straight house music. Right. Right. Some nights where it's like it's super like yeah yeah yeah. But then. Everyone's just enjoying because they have no expectations. Exactly. It's like that's that, that's what that's what Manila is that's like. Great. DJing be- became a trend. Yes. And whatever, but then, like with trends, so many people started DJing, and then what pisses me off is like there's so many so many dudes. I mean, sorry, I'm seeing but like we get I'm, I'm, really I'm, I'm, here. I'm, 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 I'm a yeah. say it. Dude. Like, totally. I'm a say it. Please. There, there are DJs who like who aren't even good yet. It's like. All you know how to spin is like 128 BPM, <laughs> David Guetta, fucking like it, it, EDM, it, and then you have a you have a logo already. I guess it's, it's like, like something that they also kind of like pick up from different DJs and then just yeah, because because they they learn they the own. What what I think is fucked up is like they learned that marketing marketing yourself is like the only thing, uh, not, not the only thing, yeah, but like a, a super big thing. It's like okay, I get it, yes, but don't lose sight of what you really yeah, are, dude. What you're actually there to do, yeah, right? To play music and like educate people. So that's why our marketing in in Ocala is like dope poster, dope party. Who's spinning? Who knows? Nobody knows. Just come. And I think that's one of the big things that kind of define us, not just like in an image sense, but what we were as a group and how we understood what we were as a group. Right. Going back to that to that note about how every week we were challenged to be better. Yeah. For me, because personally I never had a mentor. Right. Thing. So being in this group kind of opened me up to seeing a lot of different things. And like being really yeah. open to that criticism. Yeah. But then going into medium, listening to these guys, and then having to challenge myself to to try something else right. can really open that that door up for me too. At any craft, I think that it's really important to be able to accept criticism because like there's always gonna be somebody better than you. Yeah. There's always a better. No, DJ. no one's better. No one's better than you. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 No, no, but, but like, for real though. But for real though, like. Like when 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 I saw okay this is this is this is mezzo technical but when I saw Jazz and Rami just switch software from Tractor okay. to Serato. Okay. Finally, your pros. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is like, like like real talk, de ba? Parang it, it's it's mezzo mahirap to adjust, but nung nakita ko sa nakita ko sa kanila, it was just natural for them. To do the transition, it's it's really hard. Ah. I, I don't know. Bak- baka iba madali for them, but you know that's why props nga kada jazz and nga makikita mo talaga na it's really it's it's really um ikaw yung gagawa eh. like it's wala wala to tulong sao you're gonna get inspired and you're gonna do something about it and I think that's the message na na masarap na maramdaman ng mga tao and I think you know the 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 um. Manila culture is like feel, feeling it, naman. With with that, like with very done, like you know, in in such a short span, you've created big waves. Like you've inspired so many people, and actually, you know, in such yeah. a short span of time, I, and and I and I know that this the situation right now is not gonna stop very done, one hundred percent. How did you guys really pull it off? Like, how are you? How did you pull it off? Like. Um, from 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 creating the collective to doing your nights and now you're selling merch, which I have. Yeah, I actually have. Yee! So Plug. Oh, I got this. The, the crew exclusive. Okay? The crew exclusive. This is the sure. crew exclusive. Okay, that you guys are actually selling online. Our 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 group like mahili kami mag-usap eh, mahili kami mag-brainstorm eh. That's that's. Yeah. I think yun yung yun yung pina cause. Si Banjo, Banjo Billions, shoutouts Banjo Billions. Pinuruan niya kami to over, uh, to, to over communicate. And over communicating is not being makulet. Over communi- communicating is not being annoying. It's just you need totally. to talk to people. Yeah, like you need yeah. to talk. Okay, talk is free. It's not cheap, but it's free. Like, mag-usap lang kayo. So yun yun, nag-uusap kami. We, like, 
mahili ko yung mag-conceptualize ng mga bagay. We, we love overthinking stuff. With the name Very Done Crew, what 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 was your inspiration and like what does it mean? What does it really mean? What does the Very Done Crew mean? Yeah, yeah cause, cause, cause ang dami, eh, like, yun, like we went to Cebu for Sinulog, they're, they're like, oh, Very Done, so tapos na kayo. Alam mo, like, yun yung, yun naman interpretation nila. <laughs> like, ah, tapos na kayo. Alam mo, tapos na. Like, like you're done with 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 the old shit. Na para kami, no, 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 no. It's it's not that. Like, oh, very done. So ano kayo? Like pinaka magaling or no? We're not even best. You know, we're not even you know good. It's just maayos. Okay, very done is maayos because we want to get yes. done. Pwede ba tayong magsabi ng shit? <laughs> bawal, bawal. We want to get shit done, but in a proper way. So, doon pumapasok yung very. So, para siyang mentality, frame of mind, na parang every, every, everything we do, we just need to get shit done in a proper way, in a, in a maayos way. So, it's yeah. it's um it's inspiring for us, each members, na parang with, when, when you represent very done, parang hindi ka pwedeng babano-bano, hindi ka pwedeng tatamad-tamad. Going to uh, Tolo, Marvelous. We know that you were originally a b-boy for the Philippine yeah. All-Stars. Yeah. Sure. Lot, so I do know that, I do know that a lot of people now know you as Tolo Marvelous, as the DJ. But we know you as that b-boy. Like starting from dance, um, it's also like jazz as well. Like Tolo, like how were you able to like transition? Being a dancer into being a DJ, like how did that start? Like how did you start becoming a DJ from that? Uh, when when I was boying, kasi when I was dancing, then I always wanted to be a DJ because it goes hand in hand. If you're a dancer, if or or if you're cyphering or you're battling, there's a DJ, parang lage sa background. So parang there was a time na sabi ko, shoot, I wanna. I wanna play too. I wanna make people dance. I wanna play sa mga events, ganyan. So, so sabi ko, sige, I'm gonna wait for a perfect timing. When to execute or when, kailan ko aralin or the chance. So, may time na medyo na burn out ako with dancing. Parang, like, kasi since I was 16, like, or 14 pa, every day, like, every single day, eight hours a day, we were dancing. So there was a time na sobrang na burnout ako. So a friend of mine texted or texted me uh, parang tolo, parang tawagan kita ganyan ganyan. Sabi ko, sige, ganyan. Tapos sabi niya, you still dance? Sabi ko, medyo. Tapos sabi niya, do you want to learn how to DJ? Sabi ko, sabi ko, tang ina. Sabi ko, maybe ito na yung perfect time na parang to, parang grab it na. Sige, baka ito na nga yung chance. So yun, kinuha ko. Si, shout out kay Charles in between. Hey. Siya yung nagturo sa akin ng foundations. And then after that, yun na, parang uh, nag, ano, nagsipag na lang ako to learn din. Yung mga minsan hindi mo na yung alam mo yung parang ma, ma, makukuha mo lang siya along the road. Yung mga ganun lessons na parang from a different person then Like from Nick, from Yurik, parang ganun. Uh, parang dun ko na rin siya na-develop. Like you work ethics, yung mga ganun. So yun. It was a hard din siya kasi iba yung market ko noon nung ano eh, from dancing to DJing. Pero it helped din uh, I was going out a lot before. <laughs> you know, pero pero like yeah, to, to add to add on that because I think Tolo was a party b-boy. Eh. Tolo was the part of the party industry rin kasi um he was a fan. I, I know Bata pa yan, nasa labas yan lagi kasama ni Shepard, Mr. Marcos. Na, <laughs> alam mo yun? Yeah, true. That's very true. Oh, That's very true. So, so, so may, may mga b-boys, may mga b-boys na battle lang yung, yung scene nila or underground scene nila. But Tolo is a party boy kasi gusto yung sumayaw. Yeah. Mag-play ka ng breaks, sasayaw sa harapan mo yan. Kaila Caliphate, kaila Red Eye, true. M Cafe oh, Day. Oh, sige, share ko rin. Yeah. So, may time nga na ano eh, so, dub plate, sumasayaw ako sa dub mga dubstep na before nun sa B-side. Um, diba? Kubaw X, B-side. Diba? Yeah. So, so, party B-boy siya eh. So, parang yun yun. Kaya, kaya parang naging natural na rin siguro yung pag-DJ sa kanya. He, he loves the energy, you know. 
15 pa lang ako like Jaipur yun tama bisa hanggang sa Power, tas, ba, illegal lang <laughs> inamin na lang happy mondays naabot ako yung happy mondays yeah yeah, yeah. tira mo so, happy mondays so, yeah tol tolo was there matanda ka na yata talaga yun yung loko mo lang kami hindi <laughs> Magagalang nag <laughs> Tapos hanggang sa napunta na sa mga eksena, yun na. So, with, uh, with dancing, like Tolo, um, because you originally started as a dancer and then a DJ, like, with with the situation now, like COVID-19 and everything, like, have you been practicing? Have you been dancing again? Have you been taking some classes? I know that there's a lot of... Yeah, workout lang. Workout or workout lang, lang to, like, how is it? Like, yeah. Actually, yung mga workout ko, ko ani workout ko nung asa b-boy ako nun before like, we we call it b-boy metrics so yun yun lang ginagawa ko pero like dancing or practicing di ting mahirap pa I tried one move parang pinoli kata ko for a day so, so brata lang tambal na pero producer na kase producer na kase yeah. yeah. I thought you were gonna do it. I thought you were gonna do it. I thought you were gonna do it. 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 You Na if you're weak in the mind, talo ka talaga. Like this whole situation will eat you up easily in one go. That's really good. Like being yeah. able to stay healthy is super key. Ayun, kaya nga, kaya nga sobrang ganda na ginagawa nyo ngayon. Cause I, like for sure you're gonna help a lot. And like, like please, please, like yun. Like tulungan tayo sa, sa mental health talaga. Like we, we agree okay. and like, and thank you for doing this show. And you know, shout out yeah. sa sa lahat na may pinagdadaanan dyan. And, you know, just keep on watching the show. This Thank you, Marga, for this positivity. We need this. We're all going through this together. Like I said earlier, imagine years and years. Some people have been DJs for 30, 40 years, like all their life. And then now, they're not, like, completely stop doing that. And um, it's, it's a scary thing. And I think that it's also important to kind of show that What's the next step? What's the next move? Parang we can't, don't allow yourself to be stuck in that situation because that will paralyze you 100%. So next, like, you know, a lot of people know you as Nick's Dampy, but they also know that you're the other half of Mother Base. And before the lockdown, we had a couple of afters together and you would let us hear some of those tracks because you said that you were coming out with an album with Mother Base. So how is that? What's, what's the move? Ooh, um, Maki Brillantes nga pala. Shoutouts. I miss you, Maki. Maki. So, Maki is, um, so, yeah. uh, half, half of Mother Base, Maki Brillantes. Um, we, we're a DJ drummer duo who still don't know what they're doing, um, but having fun. Um, it's, it's an experimental thing. Um, it's just an expression um, of us. Na we just wanna, you know, just bang. Music. Um, gusto lang namin magpatugtog. Gusto namin magpabayo. Pangit pa rin pahinggan. Gusto namin magpabayo. Like, you know, more bass. Um, so, it's, 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 it's an expression. It's, and it, it's a project na matagal na namin um, ginagawa. Um, we're just lucky to like, you know, nagawa namin yung Lebron, Kobe. Like, uh, natutuwa lang kami na, na maraming nagawa yung yung mother base and now for the album we're really really excited it's like a lot of a lot of our friends are saying oh five years in the making or ten years in the making whatever parang sige but um we're really excited to like uh release it na um under very done records Woo! Yeah. surprise <laughs> the launch yeah <laughs> So abangan, so abangan yung um, it's really exciting as as Marga said, na pahinga nila ibang tracks and it's really ano, it's it na katuwa pala na pag narinig mo yung sarili mong gawa and nakita mo yung friends mo na yung reaction nila. So so support local music. Um, ang gagaling na mga Pilipino. Um, super, I'm super proud and like we're we're really blessed and lucky for 
for the for the yung mga nauna sa atin si the red eye yan si the mulan yung mga producers na, na tumulong at nag-inspire sa atin um it's, it's it's really like we we owe we owe so much to them um they they really inspired us and you know keep pushing us and um it's a, it's a healthy it's a healthy environment so we're tayo sa Pilipinas um so let's just support um let's not um stop na suportahan yung yung sariling atin. When are you, when are you guys planning to drop the album? Kailan mo gusto? Like oh, I'm completely <laughs> <laughs> like you know. Definitely definitely this year kasi dapat 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 this month or last month talaga siya but hello si Rona. <laughs> fucking fucking Rona was like a gate crasher who crashed our party so so in corona corona pandemic na to like really um but but at least i know medyo mas mas ma mas actually oh nga no I expect na, na mas maganda yung gagawin no kasi yeah, now that you have more time time to really wala kang excuse maging bano di ba so parang yeah it's just an exciting time so what's up Definitely, definitely, it's gonna come out this year, like for sure. We're just waiting for the studio to open, actually. Um, nagantay yeah. lang kami ng nagantay lang kami ng text na pag yon bumukas na takbo na agad kami don. So really excited to share it with you guys. We're super excited to see that, dude. Like Mother Base has always been an inspiration. Talagang DJ drummer combination. It's like who would have thought of that? But we have Mother Base for that. So I can't wait for the album, bro. Thanks, Nick, Tolo, and Rami for coming in the show. I know that it's a little unconventional to do this. We're used to seeing each other, but this will do for now. Thanks, guys. How is that lifestyle? How does it work well with you as being a DJ as well? And of course, with a pandemic, like how are you moving forward?